Hey everyone, welcome back. I thought it would be time for the next installment of my design projects and moving on to the next two buildings. Before I do that, I wanted to show you what sort of design I settled on with the first two that we had in the last video, just to give you an idea of where I, my mind was at. So I kept the mushrooms and put another one over this side just to even that little area out. And then I not only also put some more of John's sellable items at the front, just to give it a more personalized look, but I decided to keep the different sides. I wasn't going to, I was a bit surprised myself, but I like it. <laughs> I like how it's a little bit different, but still doesn't look out of place. I did carry the vase with the, um, the bush seed through to the other side, just to make it a little bit more cohesive. All right, and over here, I only did a couple of tweaks. So outside the museum, I decided to put some, uh, basically stock deliveries <laughs> ready to go inside, just to make it a little bit more real, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so I kept pretty much everything else that we did last time. Well, the two areas I'm going to work on, or the couple areas I'm going to work on today is just tidying this bit up here, deciding what to do with this side, and then moving on to Miss Sally and Miss Clover. All right, well, first up, let's get this grass mowed because it's actually <laughs> starting to get on my nerves. And crush the mower. I'm sure I will at some point. Boom. I'll just clear up this side as well while we're here. Oh, oh yes, I can totally get this. <laughs> here we go. Uh, for this side, I'm thinking of just doing uh, a massive line of garden beds, maybe, or even possibly putting a chair in there. We'll get some garden beds out. We just want to have one seat, then we'll just sort of bring these in. One point there, one point there. But then it'll be off from that side. So we're just going to make a garden, I think. Just to fill in the area a bit. Maybe put a tree on the corners. Or just in the centre. Yeah. I think right there. Pop a tree. Let's go grab some seeds. See what I've got left in the boxes. As you know, I've been building just about everywhere <laughs> recently. I've got some flowers, so that's good. Any fern seeds? No ferns or anything. Okay, let's go find them. All the little animals. What have we got in here? Fern seeds! Yay! No tree seeds. What tree do we want in there? Um, I think one of these guys. Alright, where's my chainsaw? I don't want to make it the same as the gum side, so I don't want to put a gum tree in there. Because I think that would just be pulling too much gum through. Let's have a look how this will go. And what this planting this particular tree will also do is that it'll pull in the colours and that from from the back there. So that'll pull that colour through. My shovel's just about done too, isn't it?
There we go. Right, where are those for? So as usual, just going to do the normal design that I do there. And that worked out really well. And then... Pop these in. I think I'll have them at the front here. And that sort of just finishes off that little area. You got something nice to look at. I'm sitting here. Oh, can't really get a good angle there, but <laughs> you get the idea. Of course, there are many things you could have done. Could have put more seating and all that sort of thing. Um, I do like a bit of flowers around. All right. So, Miss Sally, what are we going to do with you? I'm thinking a good couple, a lot of seating areas right here. And, of course, our garden beds need to come in. I'm going to give her some brick ones, actually, I think. Let's have a look and see how they suit. I bring them to the front as well. Oh. oh, of course, because the door's on that's That's why that's a little bit off-centre. That's all right, still frames the entryway. Up there. Oh, we could also always put a tree in here. Which you might do, actually. I think that'd be a good idea. Maybe the gum. Gum or green? It might be in the green through. Right. Now I'm not going to pop a fern right next to that because that'll be green on green. So we're going to start here with it. back over there the reason why I spaced it out is because I do want to go in threes with this so I'll put our reds in the front and the taller pinks in the back I was thinking of staggering some trees here, maybe a couple of gums, just to fill it in. Did I have those in the boxes or do we need to go get them? Or even, actually, I might need to pull some of this wattle and bottle brush through. So, yeah, I might have some bottle brush and wattle down this side with one of the gum trees in the middle. Yep, that sounds like a plan. Let's go get those seeds. Grab them. Do I have a gum nut? Don't have one handy. Not hard to get though. Let's just go out and grab one. Where are my wings? There they are. Can get a crop back there. There we go. Oh, beehive. Did 
time is it? Four o'clock? John, do not come out of your shop. No, come out. Oh no, that's right, he's open pretty late, isn't he? I'm gonna get a new shovel. So it's about to break. Thanks, John. Needed that. Alright, so let's count this out. Um, gum nut, bottle brush, and our water's already there. I'm gonna shut it down. Alright, so we'll start with bottle brush. Brush, bottle, bottle brush. It's good to go in from both, like start at this side and then come in from this side as well, so that you can actually pick where the center is. We actually have two center squares, so what I'm going to do is move the last bottle brushes over into the center and actually put the gum nuts down in here. So. Oops. Oh, I just said a little, okay. I have to get another gum nut, sorry guys. <laughs> Didn't realize I only picked up one. I picked up two. So we'll put that gum nut there. And the two bottle brushes in the middle. No, that's not what I wanted. Right, now we'll just go through our shovel and plant them in. Of course, I'll be sleepy and let you guys see this all grown up and all matured, I should say. Something happened there. What happened there? What happened to... The model here. Ah, grass seeds were in there. Okay, so... I'll just pop a new one in. our grass down, make it all nice and green. So that should look kind of pretty there. Have we got enough lighting there for you to see me still building? I hope so. Might just pop another one down just to be sure. We'll take this up later. I'll put it here too. Okay. Nice and bright for us. Um, I need some benches. Let's go find those. I do think I left them out at the dock area that I was building, if anybody's seen that stream. The marina. A bit of nighttime flying. Oh. Okay, great landing. Um, <laughs> there. Oh. Interesting. Not out here. 
Where or where have my benches gone? Who knows? That's right. If we can't find the iron ones, what I'll do is I'll pop down the palm wood ones for now. Don't land on the fire. Nope. Yeah, so we'll just pop, we'll use these ones for now. They might look pretty anyway. Um, did I have any coffee tables here? Not right now. All right, what I'll do is I'll have a sleep and I might order some coffee tables and go from there. get some coffee tables I don't think he opens till 10 so we'll do the design up until then and what I was thinking was there's not a whole lot of room here so what I might do is come there a little too off isn't it we'll put this one a bit further away um how's that fine to there to there actually that is the same kind of gap one two oh it is this looks a little bit strange doesn't it with those fence detailing in the back and pop a coffee table in the middle there and a couple of trees maybe some fern vases i think let's have a look now what are we going to bring through we've got the gum there they're starting to grow this guy here let's bring the, let's start bringing the fur in through from the background there let's get some pine cones Any cones? Do we have any over here? I'm very organized today, as you can tell. <laughs> Let's go see if we got some in the boxes. Hello, little peeps. Great flying skills on my behalf. Thank horns. Okay, awesome. Which I might steal these while we're here. <laughs> we're gonna need them. Ooh, I think of palm trees. Hey, Miss Sally, let's get designing. Um, right, I will do the fur pine cones in here. Pine trees, I should say. Oh, gonna bury myself. fern vases do I have them on me nope they will be in the box <laughs> hope you guys are having a lot of fun designing your islands at the moment or at least getting some ideas flowing another bottle of fern vase pop these in here 
take them both. Because it really is all just about experimenting. Oh, we do have the wattle that's growing up in here. We might just mirror the ferns over here, I think. They look really nice with the palm wood as well, so I think they look good with a dark little table in the middle. And voila! You could put some paving down, but I think the grass is going to look a lot better. Um, I've got that hoe on me for when we go and do rain. Give that grass a little bit of a mow on the front there. Okay. Yep. All right. So nine thirty-six. Where did we put him anyway? We put him up front, didn't we? Didn't I? Over oh, this way, see if he's open today. Maybe soon. Is he coming back to go to work? Can you come to work? Nice to see you too, Melvin. Let's go. I need a coffee table. Or I go and hijack one. <laughs> couple of minutes there to wait. This is getting really overgrown. <laughs> I need to get the lawnmower in here too, I think. Come on. It's 10 o'clock. Here he comes. Let me open that for you. Come on. Let's go, Melvin. Very good, mister. Can you make me a coffee table, dear sir? I can't scroll because my mouse button is not working at the moment. So, we might end up having to go and pinch one. <laughs> I know, I've got a new mouse coming. So, as soon as that gets here, we'll be fine. I am not putting a dainty coffee table down, guys. I'm just not. All right, let's go steal a coffee table from somewhere. Use the malfunction. Let's go find one. Ooh, maybe the library might have one? Oh, actually, you have one right here, don't you? Let's grab this one. Awesome. The warm Nordic will be I think brown enough, dark enough. Is that going to be big enough? Um, I think it looks a little too small. I think we're going to need a different one. I think we need one of the square actual coffee tables, just the plain wooden ones. Let's see what we have to pinch over here. Anything in the library? No, you got the Nordic ones as well. I seem to be a bit of a fan of those ones. <laughs> I swear I ordered like 50,000 of them one day. Let's double check over here. Where are they? Maybe up in here. Eastern. No, not Eastern. Ripple. 
Not that. No, you can hold that for now. You didn't see that. <laughs> Nanny Og, you did not see that. Good sorting though, my gosh. All greens. Thanks. Nordic. Everything else wouldn't, but not a coffee table. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's going to have to wait a minute. I'm going to go find one and I'll be right back. Okay. So we did get the coffee tables and we can pop them in. Yeah, I did find them out at one of my builds. So I think that's a lot better with the size ratio. I think that's going to be way to go and when these trees actually do mature you'll find that the dark wood does tie it all in but I'll give you guys a look at that before we move on to Clover's place let's put this in here put that under the trees and I did also pick up a fruit bowl that we can put down So Sally's keeping it nice and elegant and refined. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just go and have a few sleeps and let the trees grow up for you. Okay guys, so I have finished sleeping and allowing everything to mature. And I realized that I haven't really explained too much about why I'm using what I'm using. So I'll do that for you right now. Um, as you can see, it's all come up now, which is really awesome. Okay, so if we have a look here and turn around, this is why I decided to put the darker trees in because we're actually bringing the background over there where I've done the, the wall of trees next to the road through. So all those colors are coming through and it's all sort of um, just drawing the eye through and drawing the design through and the colors through and it's making it very cohesive and all that sort of thing. And the gum trees, of course, we've got here and that's why that design part is carrying through and with the wattles and the bottle brush that element is also being brought through to here now what I'll probably do is pop in um, a wattle or bottle brush on the corner here probably a bottle brush to bring that through as well I think that's probably going to be the go. Put one here and put a wattle here just to even it out. All right, let's do that. Do I have any more bottle brush on me? I do. Very good. And I kept the furniture pretty simple. I may change these benches out to the iron wood ones, but we'll see how we go with that one. It's not what I actually meant to do. I'm retrieve that. It's a bit difficult working without that scrolly mouse wheel part. I can tell you that. Put that in. Grab some grass. And we'll come back and look at that after we do some more designing and some sleeping. But what that should do is just help to bring everything through still without making it too much and, and clashy. So this is our design for Sally. Grab that light. I think we will put a couple of lights in up here, otherwise it's going to be too dark. And come here. With all these trees now, it'll sort of cover up the lighting from the other sides. So here you go, Sally. There we go. 
we're starting to get a nice picture of how it's all going to come together. From John, to the Theodore's Museum, off to Sally. And now for good old Clover. Now for Clover, I'm going to start adding in things like the, um, what's we call it? The fountains. So we're going to have one on either side here. And we're also going to incorporate her personal touches of clothing on the outside. All right, so let's get to that. I'll go put some of this stuff back while we're at it and grab those fountains. And the reason why I'm putting fountains in is not because it's just a perfect place to have, you know, a couple of fountains, but also we're starting to bring that water element in that's incorporated in the later sections that we've already got. Um, arms away. Oh, it's going to be needed for the next one. Oh, we do need that. I'm going to have some more sort of like storage, not storage, um, delivery. So some crates around and stuff like that as well. Um, grab these out while we're at it. Yep, let's go see what we're doing. So we want to make sure to dig it down a little bit. I do find that just popping them on the ground um, can be a bit more in your face, but and I'll show you the differences, of course. What am I after? I'm after my compactor. Do we have that tool over here? We do. Very good. Take that out. So I'll show you what it's like to have on the different levels. So this is just straight up, oh, if I get out of my own way. No, it's not letting me place it down there. That's a bit weird. Oh, it's because of the flower. Let's get rid of the flower. There we go. Versus down in the ground. As you can see, that's a lot nicer down there. I will have it up normally if I want to put some seating on the sides, because that way it, it just looks a bit better. But when it's coming to this sort of look, I like to have it in the ground. But that's personal taste. You might like to have it up um, so that people can maybe rest against it or just however you prefer to have the aesthetic. Now what you can also do so that there isn't this uh, orangey dirt showing through, you can put some paving down first, which I think I do want to do. Let's go get some. And I might even create a little bit of a glow, put the mushroom farthing down. It'll be very subtle, but it might just have that little bit of a touch. There it is.
So I can put that down here. Not close enough. Okay, so it is very subtle just on the corners that in there. But it should give just a tiny bit of a glow at night. That's our fountains. Um, the other reason why I actually put the flower beds down here as well is because I didn't want to have too much of the same same. So we've got flower beds down the sides here, flower beds down the sides there, but I didn't bring them through the front. Um, there are some in the front here, but I didn't bring them connected through the front like I have here. Just to give a little bit of individuality to that, that spot. The way that we're going to achieve it here is through some clothing items. So I shouldn't have actually taken that down because I do want to have some step up areas for the clothing. Um, now I'll probably plant a couple of trees here and here. So I'm going to move one more in to start the clothing. So I have three items of clothing on here. We'll pop in a chair here for anybody that's wanting to sit down while visiting or while shopping. And then up in here, we're actually going to have like a piece of clothing here, one there, maybe one here as well. This is where our crates are going to come in for some shipments basically. I might have a couple of barrels as well. This one in behind here and one in front here. We'll see how we go. I've got to get those ones. Uh, I don't have any on me. So that's going to look good. We should display them. Um, I'm not going to put palm wood up because it would just blend in too much. We do want them on display. So I'm going to go grab maybe some honeycomb. Bit of gold underneath, I think will look really nice. So I'll grab that one. And then we'll go steal some clothes from the walking wardrobe. Get this one. Get in the seat. Thank you. I do like how it's all starting to come together. I'm a little bit excited about that now. It's making a lot more sense in the brain. I hope it is for you too. Alright, the walk in wardrobe. What shall we have on display? We'll grab a dress neutral colors I think because we're going to have so many other colors from the flowers and things like that maybe just an overall dress um I'll grab a pirate jacket I don't have all my clothes up here at the moment because I keep on leaving them in places, of course. We'll grab a witch's hat. Oh, pockets are full. We'll drop some stuff here. Come back for it. Um, what can we drop that we're not going to need so much? Not going to need that. Don't need that right now. Grab that witch's hat. Some shoes. Or oh, some pants. Um, how many things do I have? I had six, didn't I? So, this one, uh, two, three. So, we need three more. Four.
five, and some glasses. Six. Oh no. Oh dear. We need a bigger inventory space, I think. <laughs> what shall we dump? We shall dump the coffee tables for now. I will remember to come back and get that stuff before we have a sleep, otherwise it will probably disappear. Hi Sally. Alrighty. That one there. I want to put them on. Put the dress here, I think, actually. Where's the last one? Glasses, that's right. That just tailors it a little bit more to her space. I'm not too sold on the gold, but we still, we'll see how it all blends in in the end. Now, if I end up popping in the wattle and bottle brush here and here, it'll get too bushy and cover up the clothing. So I think we're gonna have to stick with some fern vases. Our trees so I'll bring, bring through some gum to pull it in from the background there and maybe plant a dark wood one just over here that shovel's still alive let's see if we can break it this time here as well. And a darker one here. So we will make it a pine fir tree. Pine tree. I always get all the names of things mixed up. Okay, so that's pretty good. We do need a seat here. We'll put down that palm seat again as well. What we might do is um, grab a little apple tree for in the side here. Okay, find an apple. Pretty sure I have one in one of these boxes. There we go. And by putting in the apple tree, uh, it doesn't just fill a space, but it also brings that pop of red through that we want to bring through. Hey, we broke it. <laughs> Um, all right, the apple. Let's get out a dirt printer now. Right there. I'll grab one out of here too. Just to make sure we can really bring that element of red through. 
Okay, so put our grass down and have a few sleeps and see how this all is looking before we do any more edits. It's good to always stop and check how it's all coming through. Yes, okay, Brain. Excuse me, thank you. <laughs> I ran out of seeds, okay. All right, guys, so what I'll do is I'll go have that sleep and we will see how it all turns out. Okay, so I have gone and done all the sleeping. And we've got all the mature trees in now. As you can see, that red from the apples sort of brings in the red from behind. And the gum trees not only bring in, carry it through from there, but also bring in the countryside from behind. So it, it just really makes it feel like it's um, really just part of nature and the nature that's around us. I did move over this tree one square because it was having its leaves go into the apple tree and covering up the red. Um, another aspect of having these fountains down here is that it's not blocking the view from all the rest of the de designing that we've done here. Let me take a seat, nice little spot to sit. I'm not happy with the gold at all. I actually think it's a bit clashy, not quite the right colors. So I'm thinking I might change it out with a simple wood look or even the mushroom to make it, I know, a bit different. And that would actually carry on through because we can see from here, if you look back that way, the glowing mushrooms in the background there. So let's have a look if we did change it to the mushroom tiles. And put that dress back on. There you go, that looks more, I guess, special, like a display. And hooks in with the mushroom. See how it ties it straight through? So let's do this one too. Put that down first. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> okay, so, and I think that looks a lot prettier. Just coming on in, a lot less jarring. And bring it on through. I'm, I'm a lot happier with that. So as far as these ones go, because they are like stock items that have come in, I'm actually going to do them in a wood, just to separate it from the actual display items. to do that. <laughs> Let's go get those wood tiles for that. I keep calling them tiles. I don't know why, but I do. Even though it is parthing. Oops. Okay. okay. Pull it back up. Oh, we could actually probably actually put the tiles down in in the piling down in here. That might be a good thing. See, sometimes accidents are good. where we keep all our stuff we don't exactly want it on the ground do we pick it up thank you
That's much better, isn't it? We put a light in up there too, just so that we can see what stock needs to come in. Is it night time? Look, I'm feeling pretty happy about this area so far. If you guys are too. We might finish it off with those garden beds, of course. We'll bring the brick on this side as well. And our ferns. You'll notice I've sort of um, not brought those waddles or the bottle brush through here at this stage because we've got the red of the apples to carry on the color and I think it'd be too overgrown for this particular area because it is a bit smaller it is a bit tighter and it will end up being far too much I love how beautifully just gorgeously green the tropical stuff is. Red. I think. Oh, just got tossed out there, didn't I? There we go. So I think that is it for these two. So now we have four shops already completed. Three separate areas all cohesively joining together for our walkthrough village. There you go. Nice little look for you guys. Well, thank you guys for joining me for the next stage. Um, and I hope to see you again. Don't forget to hit those likes and subscribe buttons. They do help so much every little bit. Um, so yeah, just keep on designing guys. Keep generating those ideas because it's just a really fun thing to do and you can't go wrong at all. Keep the pressure off yourselves. All right, guys, stay amazing.